In this video, we're going to learn the proper way to divide faces on a form body. Hey everyone, this is Matt with Learn Everything About Design, and in this video we're going to start a new untitled document, and we're going to create a form body. We're going to use the plane option, and just select any plane, and create a centered rectangle. We're going to begin with a 2x2 two two division, that'll be fine. We'll say OK, and we'll go to the top view. In the last video I talked about the way that T-splines work, and the fact that we can have what's called a T-point, where we have an edge, terminate in the middle of another edge. Now this is not true across the board for other modeling programs, but it is something that we can do in Fusion. We talked about the different ways in which we can add edges using insert point, and now I want to talk about the correct way or a good way that we can divide the faces up properly, and that way we're not stuck with the, the workflow in Fusion if we get into another program like Blender. So I, I don't I can't take credit for this process. This is something that I did find or I came across on a 3D channel called On Mars 3D. So he's specifically working in, I think, Blender and Maya, and not, not specifically Fusion, but I really like the way in which he divided the faces up, and I wanted to at least show it in Fusion 360 so that we can understand the process. The first thing that I want to do is make sure that I am in box display mode. We'll talk more about the differences between the modes once we get into creating something more in 3D, but right now we're actually just looking at a plane and we're gonna be dividing it up in plane. The next thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna double click on this edge. I'm gonna to go to modify and I wanna select slide edge. I wanna bring that edge a little bit further up and my goal is to divide this face up so that I have a single division up here and at the very bottom I wanna have four. Now remember with T-points, we could simply just draw an edge between these two and have that T-point in the middle. But that's not really the way that it works on other programs, so we need to learn kind of the right way to do it. So we're gonna go to Modify and Insert Point, and I'm gonna begin dividing this up by going across. So I wanna make a couple divisions. I'm gonna say OK, right-click Marking Menu to repeat that. I'm gonna do the same thing again. And now I've begun breaking this up. But what I wanna do from here is I wanna select this first edge. And if you have difficulty making these selections, especially when we're in plane, you can always go to your selection manager and you can take a look at selection priority, selection tools, and selection filters. When we look at selection filters, we can turn off T-spline faces, for example, and T-spline bodies. This only allows us to select vertices and edges. So now I can only grab edges or a vertex or vertices and so that's something if you get stuck where it's really hard to uh, work in this method and not select the things. So you can go ahead and turn those on and off. So I'm gonna select this edge, hit delete on the keyboard, and now I've got a single face here. But remember, we're really looking to go to four-sided patches. So this one is now five-sided or an end gone, and that's not ideal. So what we wanna do is we wanna begin dividing this up in a way that makes sense. So we're gonna go to insert point, I'm gonna come from this corner here, I'm gonna come down to here, and I'm gonna say okay. Then I wanna select this edge and hit delete. Now we've got a four-sided patch here, and this is four-sided, but this one here is three-sided. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna delete it. So now what we've done is we've turned this into a four-sided, and we've turned this one into a four-sided. Just simply by creating those triangles and then deleting the edges we don't want. Again, the idea here is to make sure that we maintain four-sided faces at all costs. There are gonna be situations where we have to use three sides, but right now it's really simple geometry and we are able to do four-sided here. So the next thing is we need to figure out how to take this from two faces and we need to go all the way to four. So once again, I'm gonna to go to insert point and I'm gonna begin dividing this up some more. So we're gonna go straight across, and these are still four-sided because we broke it up completely in the middle. And now we wanna to begin to turn this stuff down here into four individual faces instead of two. This gets a little bit tricky, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with insert point, go from this corner down to the midpoint, and back up. 
We'll say OK. And of course, we've created triangles. We're not going to delete this edge and turning into a four sided patch. We're going to keep these triangles for now. We want to go once again to insert point and it come from their middle and we'll come straight down and we'll say, OK, repeat the process from here down to the middle and say, OK. Now, if we take a look at these two vertices, use modify edit form and just bring them down. It's a little bit more apparent. I'm going to scale them outward a little bit as well. And I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to move it a little bit. Now it's more apparent that we have our four sided patch. So we've got one, two, three, and four here. And down here, we've got one, two, three, and then this edge here makes four. And again, on the side, we've got one, two, three, and four. So this is a way that we can start with a single face. We use this method to turn it into two four sided patches or faces. We carry that on for a little bit because we want to be careful not to introduce too much level of detail too quick. So the idea here is that we need to have four divisions on the bottom and a single on the top. So we're carrying it down very gradually. Uh, we can probably get away by removing this if we want to. And we can take this entire edge and simply just slide it up. There's not really anything wrong with that, but depending on what you want to do with the rest of the geometry, you might want to gradually transition it so you don't have too much control. So this allows us now to change the way that this body works and we have the level of control that we need. And if we go to a smooth display, uh, you can see that we do have these transitions. You can see that it is causing problems right here, which is really something that we need to be aware of and we need to decide when it's appropriate for us to divide these faces up. We always do have this repair body utility, and it'll allow us to take a look at star points and potentially change three-sided faces, but you can see that it does not like this geometry. So if we undo and we put this back to flat, we can really take a look at the way that this patch is working and maybe decide that we want to break this up a little bit more, but this is the basic process that we wanna follow. Let's go ahead and try insert point. So again, if we turn this into a triangle, um, that is gonna not give us the geometry that we want, but we are going to go ahead and break this one up right in the middle. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of that triangle, making that four-sided. And now if we use edit form and we begin, let's just take this vertex and move it up, go to our smooth display. Um, you can see that we've isolated the change or the move a little bit more so now it's not affecting that edge. If we use Control or Command-4, um, you might be able to see a little bit of a crease depending on how, uh, how it looks when you rotate it, but that doesn't always necessarily mean it's a bad thing. Sometimes when you finish the form and it converts it to a surface, if there's an error there, you can see that um, it'll, it'll display here that it's having problems. And sometimes, again, utility repair body uh, will allow us to sort of fix that. And we also have the option in here called Make Uniform. And sometimes Make Uniform will do the trick. In this case, Make Uniform helped us out and we were able to convert that. And you can see that it was able to fix that, that corner a little bit. So again, that is the process. And it's something I found, um, it was on a channel called On Mars 3D. And the process works pretty well for other modeling software. Again, in Fusion, we have those T-points. So it does let us get away with a little bit of a bad modeling practice. But if you need to carry your modeling into another software or you need to divide up for more level of detail and you want to avoid those T points, well, this is kind of the way that you would do that. So again, make sure that you play around with this. You understand the basics of what we did and why we did and the fact that we're looking for those four-sided faces. And that's really the key here. Four-sided faces are going to give us better geometry whenever possible. This would likely be better if we had taken this entire edge and extruded it out. And the reason that this would be better is because now we are able to give the surface a little bit more curvature input. So it doesn't necessarily have to worry so much about what's happening right at that edge. And now that five sided point here is in the middle. And again, I can't stress it enough repair body, make uniform. Sometimes these tools will be extremely helpful for uh, just simply taking a look at these surfaces 
and fixing some of those small problems. So, you know, this looks pretty clean. We made those changes and now we move that point in and we no longer can really see any problem there. So um, again, that's the process that we're gonna follow. I strongly urge that you at least play around with it and get comfortable inserting the edges and at least understanding those four-sided patches. But for now, that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will try to link uh, to one of the videos that On Mars 3D did talking about this process. But again, it's not in Fusion. It's not using these tools. It's in. Um, it's either in Blender or Maya. I can't remember which one. But um, I will try to put a link to that in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.